Yo, what's up guys, my name is Mr. Freeze 2244 and welcome to Santa Fortuna, Silent Assassin suit only within Hitman 3. So even though we're playing a Hitman 2 mission, we're covering it all within Hitman 3 to refresh and re uh, redo, reroute the whole in Silent Assassin suit only as I did before. If you tuned in from the yesterday's stream, you'll know that uh, it is important to trust the process. It took hours, but we managed to do it and this is easily repeatable now because I come up with the, uh, I ironed out all the kinks. For this one, you're going to need either the flash phone, or the explosive phone, or the Napoleon blown apart. You're going to need one of those three things. Uh, other than that, you're going to need a coin. I'm going to start the village bus stop. And that's it. That is all the equipment we are going to need. So, you're bound to have one of those three items. Either the elex elex explosive phone, the flash phone, or the, uh, the Napoleon blown apart. So, from the very start, we're going to run down the road. And we're going to leap over this wall right here. And we're going to pull out our pistol, take out the camera, climb the stairs, and we're going to peekaboo the uh, the target, which is going to be Andrea Martinez. So we're going to get her to spot us just at the peak, just before it peaks. That's when you want to break that line of sight. And that is when she's going to come over to investigate. So you don't want it to spot you. You want it to uh, get her attention enough so she comes over to investigate. So just before it peaks. And then we can subdue it from around the corner like that and dump her over the railing. And once you've done that, grab the soda can that's on the desk. Is Martinez it desk? No, it's down. a table. What am I talking about? It's, it's a table freeze. But uh, once we've grabbed that, we can retrace our steps. Take care of the... Take, we've taken care of that. So we move on to our next target. It's going to be Rico Delgado. And uh, there was a small section here that we struggled with in yesterday's stream, but we managed to iron it all out, so this is easy now. So that is trusting the process, like I said yesterday in yesterday's stream. And I usually come this route because I usually smuggle in an item here, which I completely forgot that I don't need to smuggle it anymore. <laughs> so uh, I can't, that's the reason why I came this route. But we need to head up to the mansion, and we're going to pull out our pistol and take out the camera on the right. And once we've done that, we can uh, go into all the bushes to the right, go to the far end and climb the ladder. Well, it's not a ladder, it's a vine. My bad. And then come on down the ladder. And then we can pull out the pistol again and take out this camera on the corner of this room. And wait for those two guards to move out of the way. And once they do that, we can uh, pull out our coin and crouch once we're up to this area. Stay hidden and throw a coin in that corner over there. Once he's, uh, he's turned his back, we can bypass that, wait for the maid to move over to the left. Pull out your phone, or your item that you have with you, and knock her out. You can also use a soda can, or if you prefer that. Once you've done that, we can drag her behind this uh, sofa, and leave her there. She won't get spotted, she won't get noticed, don't worry about it. And then we can climb up here, climb through the window, and now we need to distract the guard in the room. You can either peekaboo him, or you can use your distraction device that you have, put it down, Activate it and close the door, pick it back up, and then push your body against the door, open it, and then there you go. Subdue him from around the corner. If you prefer, and if you think, if you think it's easier, you can just peekaboo him uh, and he will come straight away. You won't have to bother with the, the whole audio distraction there. It's completely up to you. But now we just need to hide him in the corner as best as you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't even matter if his body is spotted. We just need Rico to come into this bathroom. That's the plan. Next, we're going to plant our audio distraction device here. Now, the guard that is behind him can sometimes come in the room, but don't worry about it if he does. He's coming in the room now. So we're going to open the door, activate the audio distraction device, and as soon as Rico comes over, pick up the phone, leap out the window. And then we're going to use our pistol and shoot him through the window. How that wasn't a headshot, I will never know. There really is some uh, hitbox problems here in this game. You can rewind the video back and pause it if you want to. That was definitely a headshot. Now, you just seen a body found on the screen, but that was the target seeing the guard in the corner. Don't worry. Rico is dead. It won't count against your score. Now, we're going to uh, do, do a bullet distraction with this guard to get him to turn around. Then, we're going to do a wide circle around him so he doesn't spot us. And we're going to crouch as well. He wouldn't have, he wouldn't have uh, seen us as much there if we had a pistol, if we put our pistol away, but never mind. Once we're at this point here, you want to grab the baseball. 
We're going to crouch, run through here. And we're going to get through this gate. From this point, if you are following along directly, pause your game and watch the rest of this video. Because I'm going to show you two different strategies here. Because if Franco is ahead, this is not going to work. So first of all, for the first strategy, we're going to pick up that soda can there and throw it in that direction to distract the woman. We're going to crouch run through this section here till we get to this guy over here, this worker. Be careful that he doesn't see you. And then we're going to chuck a coin behind him. With your phone, or your, the remaining can that you have, just go ahead and throw the can at his head. I missed, so I'm going to use the other thing that I had. Because we need him to be hidden in the bushes right there. Next, you want to pull out your pistol. Just make sure that no one's seeing you as you're doing this. Just be careful with that. Shoot the tap right there. Now we're going to pull out the baseball and knock out these two workers inside. Again, watch out for the guard outside that could potentially turn around and see you. So you just need to time it right. This is why it's important that Rico, and I mean, sorry, uh, that Franco is really behind. Because if he is behind, you have plenty of time to do this. You don't necessarily have to hide the bodies either, but uh, it's probably best to do it. Just watch out for the woman and the guard outside to your right. Next, you want to just go and plant this coin around these barrels right here, just around here. Because if you don't do it around this area, a guard will, come, will see the coin, and that's not what we want. We could peekaboo uh, Franco into this area if we needed to, but yeah, it doesn't really matter that much. The idea is Franco is going to, looking into this uh, this tent, he's going to see the coin, he's going to come into the tent, and that's when we're going to turn the generator off. When we turn the generator off, he's going to come investigate the generator, turn it back on, and he will essentially combust. And that is the plan. Now, if Franco is way ahead, and he's already here before you set any of this up, then just keep watching until the end of this, and I will uh, show you exactly what to do in that situation. So just stay tuned. If this is not working for you, don't worry about it, because I do understand, I completely understand that Franco can be ahead, or he can be way behind. He can either do one of those two things. Most of the time, he will be uh, in the same position as we are right now, but you can do, this can be done in a lot faster. In fact, you can do it in a minute faster than this. But it depends on where Franco is. All so, we're going to exit here. And that's the Silent Assassin's Ceremony, which I think is fairly easy overall. I managed to do this four times in a row when I got back on today. So, it was no problem. But what we're actually going to do now is make, get the confirmation of the Silent Assassin, as I'll show you. And then I'll skip back to where we uh, would have told you to pause the game. So there's the uh, Silent Assassin written, so let's skip back. Okay, so here we are. Now, on my screen, Franco is still way behind, but uh, it's a reloaded save. So let's just say that he's at the tent right now. We're going to turn off this air conditioning unit and turn it back on. You may prefer to do it this way method anyway. If you don't mind waiting around, then I would, I would suggest doing it this way because it's a lot safer and it's guaranteed. You can't really... Uh, you can't really go wrong here. If you're worried about that whole section that I just did, do this instead. So we're going to turn that uh, as we turn that back on, um, we're going to knock this guy out. So what we did is turn the air conditioning unit off and then back on. The reason why we always turn it back on is because we don't want to distract anybody else. So when he came to investigate, we're going to smack him in the head and hide him in the, in the crate. And the reason we, why we distracted him and knocked him out is because we're going to shoot Franco through this window while he's in the shed and we don't want his body to be found so that's the reason why we have to get rid of that worker there but again um, this route is obviously a lot safer than the route I just did however it does involve a lot of waiting time so I'm gonna skip uh, ahead to the point where we actually take him out because I don't want to wait with you so like after a, a minute or so he will eventually come into the shed and then once he's finished doing what the hell he's doing in the shed he was gonna he's gonna stand next to the door and he's going to conveniently turn around for us to shoot him in the head. Don't shoot him in the back of the head, though, because like I said, the hitbox is a little bit weird for the back of the head. He will stand there for a few seconds, give you an opportunity to take him out. His body won't be found, so don't worry about it. Now we just need to get past this woman at the end to get to the helicopter exit, and we're, we're finished. We're done. So overall, I think this is a much better strategy than my uh, first guide. Like, it's this, this is a completely different strat for all the three of the kills. Uh, you can use, still use that shed kill if you want to. That is a part of my original strategy. But the, everything else is exactly this. It is uh, completely different. So, 
hopefully you've learned something there hopefully you've enjoyed that and hopefully uh, you, uh, it's helped you out so that's going to do it for this video thank you very much for watching feel free to drop a like on this video if it did help you out it took a long time to get this done uh, subscribe if you are brand new to the channel and hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams consider supporting me on patreon or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below or clicking the link in the description if you've missed any silent assassin suit or any videos i've covered so far there's a link in the description of the full playlist and i will see you guys in the next video thank you very much for watching cheers